go hit like a bitch on a bitch ass bitch. Bitch, you will wanna be caught. Good morning, guys. We just picked up some groceries. God, man. We just picked up some groceries. It's been a very long time since I've been grocery shopping. And the reason why I went grocery shopping today, let me put on my seatbelt. The reason I went grocery shopping today is because December is coming to an end and the new year is about to start. And honestly, like my competition, March 3rd, is coming up pretty fast. And I just want to start getting in the habit of cooking my own meals and making sure that I'm getting my weight down a little bit. I probably weigh 193 pounds right now. So it's like, I want to start getting within striking range so I can start training in the weight that I'm going to be using to water cut into my competition weight. So, uh, at the end of the day, I'm kind of I'm kind of tired of being a little bit fluffy, you know what I'm saying? I want the ass to be poking without me flexing, so I went ahead and got some of my favorite foods. You guys already know, there's no need to go through what I usually get. I did add in, like, normal eggs and sticks just because I don't feel like there's no need to use egg whites. Because, like, I can still use the fat for right now. Like, I can still maintain probably, like, 189, 190. You know what I'm saying? Just want to get back on my stuff and just, you know, get the ass popped without me flexing. You know what I'm saying? Get the veins popping. You know, whatever I'm working out. But okay, okay, seriously, let's get back to the crib, make some breakfast, and uh, prepare for today's workout. You know I spit it, but hate the love to admit it. Hey, hey. Okay, so here are the grocery section board, guys. So I got vegetables, pancakes, uh, steak, eggs, sweet potatoes, burger buns, chicken, fat-free cheese, cookie butter, and sriracha hot sauce. So. These are the ingredients that I'm going to be using to make myself look like a snack in the next couple of weeks. Honestly, a man shouldn't call himself a snack. Or maybe, you know what, I'm going to break the gender barrier. I'm going to call myself a snack. So these are the ingredients I'm going to use for the next couple of weeks to make myself look like a snack. Alright guys, you're about to see one of my biggest weaknesses. So I have to crack these two eggs and get it into this pan but I suck at doing that, so you're gonna watch me struggle for a little bit. That, that wasn't too bad. So, welcome to episode number one. We're cooking with Russell, and we got today's first meal of the day cooked up. I'm gonna show you guys what's good real quick. All right, so. We got two eggs with the yolk, because I like the fat. And then we got a medium rare steak. Mm. So that's going to be the meal. Now I'm sure some of you guys are sitting back in your couch and be like, yo, Russ, where's the card source, homie? Don't worry. Don't worry. I got you covered. I got you covered. We're going to eat a banana for today's carb source. That's about. This is probably about, I want to say maybe 30 grams of carbs. So. Uh, so I'm honestly I'm too lazy to like make oatmeal or make some uh, sweet potato fries. I'm supposed to go ahead and eat a banana with these two with eggs and steak. It's gonna be a good meal, man. I'm gonna start today off right. It's the blackout shooting, nigga. Blackouts, we ball like the black top. Damn, it's uh it's like drizzling slash raining right now. But as you guys know, it is the day after Christmas, and I'm actually gonna have to make up for yesterday's workout. So that means we have two workouts on today's schedule so we have squat and we have bench as well and uh we're gonna be in the gym for a very very long time i'm just thinking like i'm standing outside right here just thinking about how i'm gonna get to my car without getting this camera wet yeah we're in for a very very long workout it's just gonna be really tough but okay i'm gonna have to put the camera down and i'll see you guys whenever i get to the gym i feel like that wasn't done properly let me uh let me do it properly okay i'll see you guys when i get to the gym Okay guys, so we're warming up. We got four five on the bar right now. I'm gonna go ahead and show this warm up set, but like right now I'm feeling good. Like they're playing my playlist in the gym right now. There's a lot of people in here working, so it's like I cannot put in the work in. I gotta like match what everyone's doing in here and I gotta match the energy. So let's go ahead and get this first set, uh, this warm up set, and then like, you know, we're gonna work up to the heavy set, RP7, then back down, do like three by six. You already know the deal. Oh, that shit warm up. <sighs> that shit warm up, eh? Ballin' ballin', nigga. 
Not a nigga, Russell Westbrook. We moving weight. We call it pancake. What's up, bro? All right, guys. So as you saw, it worked up to 650 pounds. It moved all right. It moved. It moved decent. It moved decent. I'm not too mad at that. So 650 pounds is actually off. It's actually 10 pounds off of my PR. So at Raw National, I was able to squat 662 pounds for my uh, final attempt on squat, which was an unofficial uh, American record or whatever. But it's like it's just fun to know that like 650 is something I can get inside of a gym, being 10 weeks out from my next competition. So. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and drop the weight down to 525 pounds for the three sets of six. Right. You guys want to know what the song is called? It's called F vs. J off of the Freddie and Jason mixtape with Fabulous and Jennifer's. That's a hat trick. So squats went okay. Now we're moving on to the bench. We got 315 for three sets of nine. You already saw the first set. It wasn't too bad. I actually did one rep extra, so I ended up doing 10 reps on the first set. But so I get this nine reps out of the way. I cannot complain whatsoever. We had a very successful gym session today. We were able to fit in successfully two, two workouts, not one, but two. So I was able to fit in yesterday's squat session and today's bench session and 315, bruh, 315 moved amazing on bench. Like it was just overall a pretty good day, but I unfortunately spent about, I wanna say three hours working out just because 
I don't think you guys understand how long it takes to get these powerlifting um, workouts in. Um, I had to warm up for squat, then squat, then warm up for bench, and then bench. And that, that just takes a very long time. But now we're about to go home, get something to eat. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. It's like, it's a little bit different now because I can't just like stop and pick something up. It's more of like, I have to go back home and cook something for myself to eat because I'm back on that, on that grind. <sighs> Fake niggas stole shit and they drinks. Club nights, we snatch it. All right, so check it out, guys. We have breakfast slap and we have dinner slash lunch cooking right now. This is the second meal of the day. Uh, it's ground turkey, coconut rice with vegetables, and we added a little bit of that sesame oil to that bad boy. Now I was dreaming about a deal at the age of 13. Yup. Yup. So we have teriyaki marinated chicken with some sweet potato fries. So it's been about, um, I want to say, about an hour and 30 minutes since I ate my last meal. And this is going to be my last meal right here. I'm also going to drink a protein shake from BPN Sup. So I, <laughs> the shake is right here. I wouldn't get it, but it's like I have to get on my tippy toes. And I don't want to, you know, put that on camera because it's kind of embarrassing. But anyways, um, this video is going to be coming to an end, guys. I just want to kind of end it by kind of describing what's going to be going on for the next couple of weeks or maybe like a month and a half leading into my competition. So as you guys know, December is winding down. I'm currently nine and a half weeks from the Arnold Sports Festival competition in 2018 in Ohio, uh, Columbus, Ohio, excuse me. So um, basically what I'm going to be doing going forward is I'm going to be kind of getting into my competition weight area. So I'm gonna be getting within my striking zone. I'm probably like 190 to 193 pounds and I'm gonna be kind of like eating and kind of dieting down to 189, 188. And from there, like, I'm just gonna stay at that body weight and whenever it's time to do my water cut, that's when I'm gonna be cutting down. But yeah, it's like, basically right now, we're just getting in grind mode um, in terms of getting my body prepared for the this like, kind of like, uh, I guess, competing season. So once again, just gonna be dieting down. Um, this is like the first official day of like my mini cut, I guess you could say. It's like gonna be a slow, gradual cut. Um, basically, like the approach I take going forward is not so much counting macros. I have my macro goals like in mind. It's not so much I'm counting each meal. It's just like I'm just cooking my meals. I know if I cook my meals, it's gonna take a lot of that unneeded, um, unneeded calories out, and it's gonna help me like kind of like lose weight. And I think uh, I think you guys underestimate the power of drinking water. Um, I'm probably I'm. I'm not probably, I'm holding a lot of water. So uh, just like taking in a gallon uh, for today's water intake is gonna make a huge difference. I bet you drinking um, a gallon for three straight days will drop me about three or, you know, three or four pounds. It happens every single time. So that's what we're gonna be doing going forward. Just controlling my nutrition, making sure that everything's in check. I'm not eating out for every single damn meal. So um, yeah, today was a great success in terms of doing that. Every single meal was cooked in house. So go ahead and end this video off. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. Like, share, comment, subscribe, do all of that. Like always, man, I'm butchering my own outro. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Do better today. I'm out. Dipped in Ritter's own ransom.